my father's case, how he got interested in all cold-blooded animals and reptiles and no one knows because he just had a mania for collecting snakes and scorpions and lizards and whatever was, was odd in life. And uh, neither my grandparents uh, went in for that, so where he picked all this up. In fact, he was, uh, my, my father was so friendly with all the snake charmers in, uh, in Bangalore. And towards the end of his life, the snake charmers did not have sufficient snakes for themselves and they used to come to him, give him to, to, to ask him to give him snakes, you know. And, um, uh, well, he he uh, he was uh, he uh, he was a typical Anglo Indian, but quite fair. But he knew uh, uh, Tamil, he knew uh, uh, Hindi, Hindi, and uh, he was well versed with uh, all Indian customs and that, and uh, very frugal in spending uh, <laughs> uh, uh, in spending money. And in fact, that's why. He was given the name of Scotchy, which means the word Scotch. The Scotchy means very uh, tight fisted. And uh, another thing is, he was mad on collecting uh, uh, old cars and old motorcycles. I remember we had a, a few T model Ford cars, and he had 21 spare engines in the house. I don't know <laughs> how long he expected to run these cars. And we had about 15 or 20 motorcycles. My father, Kenneth Douglas Stuart Anderson, he was born in Balladam, which is now Andhra Pradesh, went to Bishop Cotton School in Bangalore, uh, and uh, he, he briefly went off to the UK to do a, a chartered accountant's uh, course, but gave it up and came back to India, and uh, then joined the telegraph office uh, for about, I, I, I'm not quite sure, I think for about 13 years. And after that, uh, till the, his retirement days, he worked in the HAL uh, factory in Bangalore. Uh, and in between, he wrote uh, eight of his uh, famous books, uh, which are still very, very popular uh, around the world. And um, he, he was, uh, uh, I, I can't remember him uh, ever hitting me or hammering me or I mean, the whole of my life, <laughs> lifetime, I accept that. I know my mom, mom used to chase me all over the place with a tennis racket because I refused to have a bath. I hate having a, having a bath and I think I'm still like that. <laughs> and she used to chase me all over with a tennis racket and I was a terribly uh, mischievous chap. But he was, uh, he was a, a very uh, kind uh, old chap and I remember uh, he used to uh, Play Father Christmas uh, every year, uh, especially when he was in the telegraphs. And believe it or not, we had in those days a Bugatti racing car. I think it was 1918 model or 20 model. I think if you had that now, it would be worth crows. And once he, he dressed up as Father Christmas and came on uh, in that to the to, to the kids in the telegraph office. Once he hired an elephant with, and got on the elephant with the mahout and came over there. We were all thrilled as kids. And um, he was a, a happy-go-lucky chap. And even in his, in his old days, when, when uh, I was in my maybe 30s, 40s, he used to join us on all our, our outings in the jungle. And, you know, we were just, he, he was just like one of us, you know, just as a youngster. And after the, he was only 64 when he died, and he was a tough old critter. Unfortunately, he got a, a cancer, and, and you know, cancer is cancer. But he was a he was a tough old chap because I remember sometimes we we had pet hyenas and and panthers and bears and all in our house in Bangalore, and he also had a house in Whitefield, and he used to. If he wanted to transport this uh, hyena, he used to walk with it from here to to, to uh, Whitefield, and and uh, people along the way would ask him what the hell this is, and he, he used to tell them it's a it's a it's a cross between a tiger and a dog. <laughs> because most of the uh, um, people in Bangalore have never seen a, a hyena, they didn't know what it was, you know, and. Um, 
he loved uh, you know any type of uh, animal i remember once uh, a cat uh, got run over on the road and broke its spine and it was uh, walking on its two front legs the two back legs was gone so he divulged a little cart with two back wheels that the cat could put its rear end in this and walk and uh, it, it used the two front feet to walk and the wheels would act as this <laughs> back uh, wheel you know he was very like that uh, uh, kind hearted and towards the end of his life i remember he uh, he found a baby uh, bandicoot drowning outside in the, in a in a rat hole so he took it out and read it to right uh, to the uh, it became fully a uh, full, full grown uh, bandicoot and this bandicoot used to sleep next to him on, on the bed and uh, to every, everyone who came there was simply horrified to see uh, uh, him <laughs> sleeping with a bandicoot but to him uh, you know he, he just uh, he had iguanas and snakes and, you know he was just at home with with all these these sort of things and uh, he was a lovable 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 old chap and thank all my friends uh, used to adore him because he was so game to anything and he was tough as nails as his and he used to uh, um, you know think nothing for instance sometimes we we decide to do a, a, a out into the jungle and the chap who we had we decided to go at three o'clock in the morning so the, the chap take us uh, and yeah, my he was with me in Whitefield so the chap take us and Carl said I'm not coming all the way to Whitefield to to pick you up he said no no, no don't worry I'll, I'll I'll come and meet you and he used to walk from Whitefield to, here, to get here at three o'clock for us to go so any amount of hardships was was nothing for you like his old timers there's such a difference from the people nowadays, you know. And nowadays, even to, to cycle the few, few miles it becomes a hardship for someone. And uh, we were very, very sorry to, I know I was very sorry to uh, to lose him because um, uh, I, for one, took it for granted that he should handle all the family affairs and all the difficult uh, problems which come up. And I got such a shock when, when uh, when when he died, I got landed up with all these things and gave me all the uh, the responsibilities of life from the nine and from the day, life has never been the same for me.